Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and this is day two of 12 days of junk journal gift ideas. This is a collaboration with several members from the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group. So definitely look below in the description box for links to the others that have created tutorials. Today we were to make a pocket, some different style of pocket than maybe we don't usually create. And so I thought I would share a style that I created a couple of weeks ago and I really like this style so I would share it again. Here's my prototype that I made that happens to have a pocket here as well as here and you can choose to cover the back with a card that you could journal upon or you could glue this down into your journal. So let's go through making this. I have a leftover scrap from yesterday's project, which was making the snowflake specimen card. So this is one of the snowflake specimen cards that I made. And I've got a book page that I haven't done anything with here. So what I want to do is glue these together. So I'm just going to grab actually before. No, that's right. I want to glue these together. So I'm going to take a moment to glue this together. I'll use my bone folder to help spread that glue underneath. Now, depending on the thickness of your paper, you may want to do one or two more layers. This feels like it would be pretty good the way that it is, but I am going to go ahead and trim this off because I don't need this side piece at the moment. I have the Botanical Fern stamp from Beeline Designs, and I want to ink this up. So I've got my Archival Ink Jet Black, and because this is a big stamp, I'll go ahead and remove the lid, and I wanna make sure that I'm getting great coverage, so I will press hard on my stamp and just keep rotating it until the whole thing is covered with ink. You may have to stand up, and sometimes I do that because it's hard to get that center portion. Next, I'm gonna take my little piece of paper here and line it up with the edge and lay it down. And I've got a brayer, so I will hold that paper in place and use my brayer to get that image all the way onto my paper. And there's my image on my paper. Now what I wanna do is trim this out. I'll leave a little bit of a gap at the bottom, but I'll go ahead and trim the sides off. So there's my foundation piece. I want to add a little decorative touch to the top. So I have some Fiskars pinking. Let me get it where you can see that. Fiskars pinking edgers, scissors. If you have a punch or other scissors, you could use those. So there's my foundation piece. And then I had a scrap of paper left over from another project and I could use this one as well, but I already had one. So I came down to where I was about out of text and then folded that up just a little bit. I don't need that whole piece down here, so I'll go ahead and cut it off. And this is gonna become a pocket on top of my pocket. So it'll go down here on the bottom. I've got a scrap of cardstock here that I wanna stamp on and then we'll start layering this together. Got the Lace Duo, this is one of the scallop lace pieces, and Blueprint Sketch Ink. I'll ink this up and stamp it onto the strip. And I'll line this up close to the top, so excuse my head. Voila! So now I'll use my scissors and let's trim this out. So that's Fussy Cat out across the top there. I will now go ahead and apply some Distress Inks to all these pieces. I've got Walnut Stain and a little blending tool. So I'll just go right over these edges. On this piece, I want to stamp. So I'll grab a scrap of paper here. And I've got the snowflake border. We're gonna get the black ink out again and stamp it. I'll stamp it near the top and near the bottom. So we'll kind of lay this out flat for a moment. So now I've added a little border of snowflakes on there. I have a one inch by four inch piece of white cardstock and I have let it snow. So I'm gonna ink that up and stamp right in the middle of this white piece. Let it snow. I'll go ahead and apply some distress inks to this piece. Now I wanna start assembling these, but I wanna make sure first that I have the right size. So I'll just line this up with my foundation piece and use my scissors to trim it. And I'll do the same with this pocket piece. Now I want this piece to peek out behind 
but I don't need it to come all the way down to the bottom. But I also want to make sure that I have a nice deep pocket. So I'm going to grab a scrap of paper and glue it across the bottom here. So this is a great way to get more bang for your buck. You know, maybe you have some decorative papers, but you really don't have a lot and you want to get more out of it, but you want a deeper pocket, add a scrap of a book page. So I'll just kind of line it up with that glue and then slide it up a little bit. And what that'll do is extend the depth of our strip here for our pocket. So that piece then, I will glue onto the back side of my pocket bottom, depending on how far I want to go. And that gives me a little bit more of a pocket depth. So I'll just put glue right here and then line this up and I will go ahead and put glue up the sides. Now, in case I want to put a journal card that is almost the same width as my pocket, I will take another strip of paper and glue it down the side. So these are a one inch scrap of paper that I had on my desk. Sometimes I will deliberately cut them that way so I have some on hand out of book pages. So I just want it to stick out just a little bit and I'll cut this off and I'll go down at an angle and then I'll glue another one on the other side. And then what I'll do is come down here after it's dried, I'll fold these edges in and unfold them, making sure my glue is dry because you can stick it together and then your corner or your pocket's not going to work. All right, so now I know where all my edges are. I'll take my scissors and cut off this corner. So now this piece is ready to be glued on top of my pocket foundation. So I'll just use glue on the tabs and then we'll stick it down. Sometimes I'll lay something heavy on top of it for a moment until that glue dries. I'll add some glue to the back side of this and we'll glue it down on the front of our pocket. So there's our pocket foundation and then we can fill it. If you want to adhere it to the inside of your journal, let me grab a piece of paper and I'll show you what to do. You've got your journal page. You could choose to glue it to one side just by putting glue down the edges. If you want to put a larger journal card in, you want the whole width of the pocket, you can glue a strip and then fold it back like I did to put this portion on and then glue it down. And what I like about leaving these without the tabs is if I want to glue it on the left or the right, I have that option. And then I'll put some embellishments in here. So this is just a little tag that I made. And here is the specimen card from yesterday. So now we have this little cute pocket that we can use in our journal. If you want, you could add a scrap of paper to the back side so you can have more journaling space or you can glue it straight down. Well, I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. If you did, please give it a vi this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Check the description box below for links for the products that I use, as well as the other artists that are also creating their version of a pocket. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Have a fabulous day. Bye.